everyone, Mr. Merkic here, and so I've got part 10 on how to make a Discord chatbot, and in this video I'm going to show you how to be able to send a message and then edit it once you've done whatever you want to, and then also how to get and display uh, the permissions for certain users. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start off with um, the editing the message. So what we'll do, let's say, uh, what we'll do... Um, We'll create a double command, and it'll be it'll be like the usual one. So it'll it's going to be something where an API grabs something. So let's say it'll be um, I don't know. We'll call it test. No, we've already got test. Um, I don't know what to call it. It will just be command like that. And what we'll do is we're going to say dim new message as a message and that's going to be equal to how we usually send the message so it's going to be await message dot channel dot send message and then we'll send the very first message so while we're just going to send the message before we get to doing the command sort of thing if that makes sense so the first thing we'll send is um, getting and we'll leave a space and we'll add on the argument and we'll add on like a dot 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 to let it know it's doing something so it's getting the argument and then what we're going to do is um, we'll say dim uh, result as a string and that's going to be equal to wclient.download uh, string just like usual not downstream, download string and let's say I think we've got one in here well, I'll just take the joke one for now just because it's there so you'd have like your uh, API here uh, add on the argument as you wish if you really wanted to and then what you'll do is because we want to have sort of like a pause we because we have the async we can say await task dot delay and we'll delay for let's say a second uh, it needs to be a thousand sec milliseconds and then what we'll do is we'll say uh, await new message dot edit and then we can enter the new text so the new text we want to edit is um, success or something like that and then we'll add on the result just like that so we'll, we'll give that a shot um, you'll probably want to rename the command as you wish uh, but we'll open it up um, you can ignore all of this other stuff but I'll type in command a test and that will say getting test and then you see it waited a second and now it says success and then it's replied with the JSON uh, output from the joke API and you can see here it says edited just like that so uh, what you can do with that there's a lot of things you can actually do uh, that's just an example obviously um, also there's various other things you can do with the new message um, so I'll let you have a look for yourself. You can put attachments in, completely delete it, um, embed links, things like that. You can, you can get everything about the message pretty much. So there's a lot of more things you can do with that as well. So that's one way to edit the messages and make some commands look nicer. Let's say you've got an API which takes a while um, to, do, to do it. So what you'll do is you'll just acknowledge that the bot has received the command and it's doing the process and then you can edit it once it's done so that's a pretty nice little thing to add in uh, so the next thing um, is how to get the permissions and uh, I did want to also show the roles but I've had a little bit of a problem with those but I, I will get it figured out um, so what we'll do is we'll create a command in the single one called roles just like that and what we'll do is we'll say dim we'll just call it perms and that's going to be equal to message uh, dot server dot get or is that wrong it needs to be message dot user dot get permissions and we can get their channel permissions uh, we need to we need to um, give the channel so it's message dot channel and that's one way to get the user's channel permissions so you can now say perms and you can have a look so you can have a look 
uh, at all the different things they're allowed to do. Now these are all read only, so you can't set the permissions this way. Um, but let's say you want to check if someone uh, is allowed to manage the channel, for example. You'd check. You'd what you'd do is you'd say if terms dot uh, manage channel is equal to true then what that means is they are allowed to manage the channel so let's say you want to enable your commands to work that way uh, like as a, as a specific command in what they're allowed to do so there's a whole lot of things here remember perms is gonna be all of the user who sent the message permissions uh, you can even check if they're allowed to manage permissions and all things like that and that's one way to um, uh, actually get them. Now you can send them back to the chat to let them know what their permissions are. Um, you can do away message dot channel dot send message and then you can send back perms dot and whatever you want really but uh, you need to keep in mind that it's, that it's just going to return true or false. So let's say you put uh, read message history. You'd probably want to have some text saying read history or something like that and then add that on just so they know if if that one's true or false or you could have some code to check and uh, check the true or false and uh, edit it that way but that way it'll just be fine there's also a way to get the permissions of the the user's permissions of the server um, but I've sort of forgot it's message.server dot um, it's here somewhere. Uh, I was using it earlier on. So message dot user dot get permissions. No. See, I've I've actually forgot what what it is now. So it's here somewhere. I just can't see it. So what I'm going to do is forget about that one. But it is possible to get the permissions of the server as well so you can check if they're an actual admin of the whole server so all the channels um, so it's much better to do that but I'll probably put that in the description anyway because I've totally forgot uh, on the top of my mind and also I just want to say about the roles because people was asking me to help them with that as well roles and permissions are slightly different um, I, th I think roles will be more important anyway and obviously a better way but I've had a bit of problems with it and I sort of can't get it figured out the way I want to get it figured out so I didn't bother showing it in its half finished state so that's why which will probably be in the next part or the part after whatever uh, but it'll be it'll be sometime soon anyway so that's what I wanted to show you for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time